In 1958, seven years out of high school, I finally decided to go for it and find a singing job with a band. So I went to the Department of Labor in Amsterdam and met a gentleman who fixed me up with a band that worked with the American clubs and played American music. Collins Combo played at a camp in La Rochelle. I arrived by train and that evening I had my initiation. I was tired and quiet and the musicians started in on me. I knew that if I'd let them get away with it, I would have no life. So I attacked right back. Then they smiled and were satisfied and we were okay together. Then I sang with the Ted Easton Band in Two Rosier, an air bass. Ted, the drummer, had a wonderful voice, but they needed a girl singer. Ted's wife, Meep, sang all the rock and roll songs, but she was not a real singer. However, she was a wonderful seamstress and made all the uniforms, quite a professional looking band. The manager of the Eitan EM Club asked me to put a trio together and I called Carl Friedrich, an Austrian drummer that I worked with. At first we only had a French pianist who played mostly musette. The next month we got another job and Carl got three musicians from Germany. Carl was dating a USO, Herr Holsters. One weekend in Germany I bought a Fort Taunus for a hundred dollars. It needed lots of used oil to keep running. It had no key and anyone could start it. But I was the only one who could and even wanted to get it in second gear. Later on I had the German license plates brought back to Germany. No more tax to pay. And had a soldier make me some metal plates. Bob Christensen turned out to be my future husband. In the end, I drove the Ford onto a car lot and bought a Renault. In the meantime, I had also bought a tent and camping gear. So from April through September, I would camp, enjoy the outdoors, and save money on hotels. In 1960, Carl married the USO hostess and became an impresario. Don't you know? I then joined a Dutch band, the Spotlights, and we stayed together for the rest of the time I was singing. Wim, the band leader, played all the brass, Bill played drums, and Joachim piano. Wim and his wife and I made a lot of trips together on our days off. We worked at first in France, then in Spain, Saragossa, and then across the Gibraltar Strait to Morocco in Ben Gurir, an air base between Marrakesh and Casablanca. People would come up to the band with requests and give me some dollars, but I would tell them they did not have to pay. I was raised to not accept money or candy. Then Bill said, hey, that's my beer money. After that, I changed my tune and even became fresh and asked people what it was worth to you. When we came back to Spain, we located in Sevilla. We played in all the area's camps. On New Year's Eve, we had a gig in Rota, the Navy base. When that was over, I drove back to Sevilla, backed up and drove to Karlsruhe, Germany to meet up with Bob Christensen, who had come back on TDY. I left southern Spain, where the fruit trees were already in bloom, and wound up on the Autobahn to Karlsruhe in the snow. After we were married, March 1962, Bob went back to the US and I went back home. I sold the Renault and my brother saw me off at Schiphol, where I flew straight to LA, where Bob awaited me.